knew they would be emotionally high. Here's the difference. When I told you it's a lot different being the hunted versus hunting somebody. Remember that, everybody? Huh? It's a whole different way, ain't it? Because who has most to lose here? Do they got anything to lose? So they get to play free. You understand what I'm saying? We play like we're trying to take something. Set it down. Let's do our regular stuff. Okay? Lock in first on our defense. Simple as that. Let's start shutting it down there. Chip away a little bit at a time. You hear me? Huh? They emotional right now. This is good. It's going to have to carry the whole game. We get locked back in. We had to pull a couple of us two fouls. Say we need to go with them this next time. You hear me? And let's just finish it off. Come back. Get focused. We have nine communication breakdowns on defense. Guess how many times they scored? Nine times. Been working on that stuff every single day. Do you agree? Sure. All right, so it's an easy fix. Do you agree? I'm proud of you. I'm proud of my, my boy, my Very son, proud. my son. amazing you know being able to go to college for free is just amazing you know education over here in America is just so advanced so them them seeing me do that you know that just brings joy to their faces what kind of brought your family over to America from Nigeria 
Uh, just better living, you know, more opportunities over here. You know, Nigeria is kind of tough, you know, the economy and the government is kind of corrupt over there. So coming over here, starting a new life, start a family over here. That's why they, you know, decided to come. What was that feeling today, the sign from your friends, all your family there, all the school there? <laughs> Like you kept smiling, I saw you cry a little bit, like has it sunk in some of this yet or are you still just on cloud nine? It, still on cloud nine, you know, the emotions were just sky high, like just talking about my teammates, my brothers, my coaches, my dad, you know, it went from super happy to super sad, but feeling feeling satisfied that I've, all my work that I've done has paid off and uh, I get to start a new chapter in my life, but I'm still not done, I got to go to college now. So when you go to UCSA, what you going to do, man? Big things. Big things? What's big things? You know, we're going to win. Oh, really? How much could that happen? Yeah, don't worry about that. Just about to win. That's all I care about. I like, I like that ass. I like that ass. I like that So what number you going to be walking? Uh, you know, I'm going to try to get 51, but that's the only if you get New Jersey. I'm just, other than that, I'm going to get one. Okay. How about number three? Because, you know, Chris Bragg, she's a GOAT. And number three is oh, be a 15 for me. 15, right? As I was saying, Chris Bryant yeah, 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 yeah. and number three is really shooting field. Let me tell you about number three. I think number three should be on the wall. It should be retired. Exactly. Because Chris Bryant's weird. Look, he got three on right now. You hear me? You hear me? <laughs> <laughs>
of, of that is just uh, the joy of watching your uh, your son grow and mature and um, be a leader of young men. Um, you know, I sit in the stands and watch him coach, and um, you know, it's, it's just amazing what he what he can do with these kids. And um, I think that's my greatest joy is just watching him involved with the young young men. When you come someplace and you stick your neck out and you tell the kids, you're trying to build a program, hey, we're going to win state championships here, you know, they look at you like, well, nobody's ever talked to us that way. So that's like crazy, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But when you grow in a household where that's a norm, both my parents are very successful coaches and they played for state championships all their lives in their coaching career. And then as a player, when you work, you played for your father and you played for championships in every single sport that he coached you in, that's the norm. So that you're, you don't really know that you sound crazy <laughs> when you're saying it because that's what you do every year. You play for championships. You know, you're playing until December in football and you're playing until March in basketball. So that's just the norm. So that's where kind of our background came from, or my background came from, my philosophy with always challenging our teams and our players to be the very best and strive for championships. You're not going to let me rattle you today? You're not letting me get in your head today? Huh? You sure? Long practice. <laughs> All right. You know we love you, right? Bottom line, we this is our circle. This is our family. Nothing gets between us no matter what. No matter what kind of adversity we face, no matter what kind of difficulties, nothing gets in between what we got here. Okay? All we got is each other. Let's just finish this thing off this week. All right, let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for these young men in the circle. Lord, more importantly, I thank you for bringing everybody here to this point, Lord, and bringing us to our, this point of our season. I ask that you just continue to put your hands of blessing on each and every one of us in the circle. Give us uh, your strength, your courage, and your ability to adapt, modify, and overcome. We praise your name. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 What do you think? Did I tell you the rebounding was important? Sure, yeah. We're getting out rebounded. We're getting out hustled. We're getting, they're tougher than us. 
and they're executing their game plan better than you are. So that you're down by 12 points. <coughs> the great thing is, is we can go out there and show them what we're about, right? So we're going to bow our backs. We're going to bow our backs and we're going to execute. <laughs>
Maybe twice. Got us a win. Yes, sir. Step up, you. Hey, 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 this is my team from last year. I graduated from my squad. That's my squad, man. All right, we're straight up. show that everybody across the state that we got a heart of a champion. And we played to the last possession, do you agree? Yes, and we executed the last possession, do you agree? That's right? Yes, sir. Okay? That's what we talk about. Right? The details, right? The details. Uh, some things are sinking in. You know, guys know how hard Blake's head is, right? Yeah. Pretty hard, coach. <laughs> hey, Blake's the first one in here talking about the devotion that we did on Wednesday. Hell yeah, Complete. Sir. Complete the week. That's huge because that means that those things mean something, that those things are valuable. Right? Stepping stone. Right. Stepping stone. All right, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for these guys in this circle. I thank you for them not giving up on each other, not giving up on us coaches, not giving up on our program and our culture and our team. That they just fought through the end, Lord. And then at the end, look up at the score and see what's, uh, what the outcome is. I just appreciate that about them and the growth that they have shown. I ask that you just continue to bless us and keep us humble. Keep us the, uh, give us the ability to listen, to adapt, adjust, adapt, and modify in all situations, in our personal lives, in our basketball lives, Lord, and even in our spiritual lives. We give you the glory and we pray. Amen. 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 Hey. Good job. Thanks for letting us go in here free. We, 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 we didn't, we didn't fall apart. No time. Hey. I had to look. Hey, we have a, we have, we have a ceremony we need to do. Okay, real quick. Let's see. Yeah, my toe, man. Hey! Okay, yeah. Yeah.